We could try to do like one golden strawberry deathless run just to kind of see where the game keeps track of that. You know, I could probably do Forsaken City without dying once. Okay, so we dash, but if you die, it goes back to the very beginning. Okay, I understand. The golden strawberry is literally right there following you around. Very interesting. Do the dashless berry. Nah. I don't even know if I want to do the uh, golden berries. I'm just kind of doing it for fun right now, just kind of see what, what it's all about. Since you won't stop haranguing me about it. Nah, you're cool. I'm gonna go this way. And I think the the um I think that the first world is a pretty good world to try this on because it should be relatively straightforward. I don't really remember any of the puzzle elements though, but... <laughs> oh god! <laughs> but it still is not too bad. At least it resets you at the very beginning now, when you're trying to do the golden strawberry, when you pick it up. That's nice. I do appreciate that, so you don't have to constantly go into the menu and just reset it. <laughs> I didn't see those spikes up there. <laughs> oh god, don't do that. You know, what do I care? Get out of here! Well, in Pro Golf, you're working on the Golden Strawberries, you basically only have 7B left. Is there one in every side? Like A side, B side, and C side? If so, I hate it already. <laughs> and again, part of the reason why I don't think I'm ever gonna actually do them they just seem like too much of a grind. A grind that doesn't even feel like it's gonna be all that fun. Maybe it is for certain people out there who like the challenge. And if that is for you, hey, don't let me tell you what to do. We need this to fall. I don't think this is the right way. Yoink. Who cares about the strawberry? This is about survival! These herbs are pretty easy when you don't go for the strawberries. <laughs> this is a strawberry room. We do not want to go this way. We want to go up. I don't remember what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it, really. <laughs> Get it, wing? On a wing and a prayer? Three A is much harder than four or five. The seasides? I imagine this doing deathless runs, the seasides would be harder. Makes sense to me. I think I want this to fall, but I want to fall with it. Yeah. Easy enough. There we go. Dong! <laughs> Ugh, I'm exhausted. Yeah, you are. So how does the game track golden strawberries? Oh, just 21. 21 of 22. And then it's been told to me that if you do it without dashing, you get a super special golden strawberry. Well, I do want to grab it then, so that it resets me if I die. And then we'll try to do this world without dashing.
which seems like You can just die as many times as you want. I understand. You just have to do it without dashing. Well, in that case, we'll reset. Because um, I don't know how to get through these obstacles without dashing, now that I'm looking at it. Like, how would you even go through this obstacle? You, I, I, I do know of a few, like, weird, um possible TAS or speedrun mechanics that I've kind of picked up on. Uh, I watched one of the TAS videos from um, uh, GAQ, DAQ, whatever it's called. It's so, like, you have to grab and then like somehow jump over the spikes. Why would the developers ever add this in? <laughs> Why would they do this to people? To add in a, uh, hey, do it without dashing type of a run. Think the game's not hard enough as it is? I wanna see if I can grab onto that ooh, side there. There we go. Oh! <laughs> no! No! If I did it faster, we would have had it. If I did it faster, we would have had it. There we go. Neutral jumping is helpful. What the hell's a neutral jump? Just like jump without holding any uh, directional inputs, like by uh, by grabbing. Oh, you just go straight up. That's pretty cool. That's pretty helpful. Maybe that's what you're talking about right there. Oh, you can climb a wall without using stamina. Like this? Grab, jump? No, I'm using stamina. Hmm. If I, if I just hit neutral A off of a wall, I, I do a wall dash. Oh, but that's what you're talking about. That prob this probably uses no stamina. I understand. I under a stamina. What the hell are we gonna do about this? Can we go around? Nope. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go. So let's see. How do we how are, how are we gonna make this? How are we gonna get around this without dashing? Abe is really good at learning things. Aw, thanks, Bound Hades. Add that to the quotes, and that way, way whenever he uh, <laughs> makes fun of me in the future, we'll remember the time when he was nice. going to do this. I can get pretty close. I can get pretty close. 
Jump from the top part instead. Something like this. Seems like the timing on that's gonna be a little harder, but this wasn't working, so we'll go for it. <laughs> that is true. I do remember playing Hollow Knight and everyone's like, What are you doing here? How are you how are you getting to this part so early? What are you doing? It's just like I'm just playing the game! I found my own path through, I guess. I freaking accidentally found like a late game boss or something pretty early. Not late game, but like mid game. Hmm. Forget what boss it was. It was the one. It was um, not Fluke Marm. It's the one that bent, that st stands in the middle, jumps left and right, and occasionally fires a whole wave of bullets up that then fall down from the top of the screen. Forget his name. Molek. Yeah, Molek something. Hmm. How the heck do you do this? Apparently it's possible, and I can get pretty close. I can almost make it! <laughs> can almost make it! Madeline was a, had a little bit longer of a leg. She could get there. You found it easier to do from the top platform, except like the the positioning of everything aligns so perfectly from the lower platform. Like from the top platform, I kind of have to stop myself, but from the bottom platform, I can just jump it. I don't know if it's possible from the bottom, but the bottom feels significantly better. Press two jump buttons at once. Hey, you get to the wooden platform. Actually, the wooden platform isn't that bad. Um, so, you see the gem? Upright of the gem, there are two sets of horizontal spikes. What you can do is you can actually do this dash that we're doing right here, this jump. Do that again, but then land on the right wall in between the two sets of spikes. So we'd be right here, right next to a set of spikes, with a set of spikes underneath us. And then from there, you do the same thing again, I think. That's my, my impression. You can go below. It feels finicky going below, but... If you guys say you can go below. Could try from the top. Here's the thing, I actually don't know what I should be doing here. Like someone said, hit both jump buttons at once. Do I have to hit jump like within a quarter second in a particular location here or like what? Just brute force it until it works. <laughs> just jump before you contact the spikes. So like, just literally jump on the spikes. Like that. Not on the spikes in the corner. On a full moon, turn left 46 times, turn right 37 times, find a gray cat. Alright, 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 alright. Right. Well, the first step is jump when you're on the corner.
almost get it. Read the whole thing. Find a gray cat, bow to the cat six times, ask him about the weather, wear a pink turtleneck with blue pants, and then you'll be able to do this. Fine, I read it. Only because it's you. Hmm. <laughs> that was weird. I didn't like. The screen didn't go away for a split second there. I was like, what the hell's going on? Okay, that goes up. Hey, x Street Breaker! Hello, welcome! Long time to see how you doing, friend. Thanks for the resub! Top right, by the way. Very left of the top platform, spike jump, hold jump. Very left of the... Very left of the top platform. That was very left of the top platform mean. Can almost make it. It's like, I feel like I'm landing on the spikes on the right side. Yeah, I know I can stand up here, but the timing of this is significantly harder. <laughs> Like, what I, what I like about what I'm doing is I'm getting flush with this wall, then jumping up, and then making sure I jump before I hit the wall again, or before I hit the spikes again. Like, it's get it's getting rid of the horizontal um, variance, but if I'm on this and I'm jumping through it, I have this weird horizontal vari variance right now. Saturn Meteor, hello, welcome. Yeah, um, we just finished the real seaside of the core and now people said try the other challenges that exist in the game so we're going to try at least one <laughs> and try to do it dashless but this jump, I don't even know what to do after this jump. No, no, I actually do know what to do after this jump. I can go up, and I know how to make it up. Bounce off the top of the wall, not the ledge. What? Like here? You need the forward momentum from running forward, okay. I'm gonna try it, but I'm gonna try from a ledge grab. Because I feel like trying it from a ledge grab might give me a little bit more consistency. Hmm, I think I have to be holding the uh, grab button. Go further up. What do you mean for, okay, you know, I'm gonna go further up the wall. Okay, let's go! <laughs> What do you mean further up the wall? I need specific instructions, not just go up the wall and jump over the spikes. Okay, I'll jump over the spikes. Here we go! The hell are you guys frickin' talking about? Good God. You act like I know all of the specific instructions for how to do a, a, a glitch spike jump in Celeste. <laughs> Your feet have to be on the level of the spikes when you jump off the corner. What do you think I'm trying to do?
You're not sure the ledge, ledge grab helps. It, it feels like, I'm, I'm just trying to remove inconsistency. Oops. And like having to, having to like worry about the horizontal and the vertical um, as I'm making this jump, it, it feels annoying. Just do the jump thingy from the jump ledge, okay. I'll try. Okay, we did it. Now what do I do after that? <laughs> Where do I go? Just jump to safety. <clears throat> oh, just go to safety. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll try that. How did I now? Now I forgot how I did that other jump. Right, it was like that. Okay. Except that won't give me enough distance, right? Like I could do this. I don't think I can hit the, um, the wall. You know what? I'm just gonna freaking do it my own way, okay? I've got my own path in mind. I think I'm gonna go the upper route. It feels like it's gonna be a little easier. Oh, almost. Now I'm trying to do it fast because I'm like, well, I've done it twice already. <laughs> hop up and then pop over the corner onto the wooden platform. Oh, so uh, your solution is just do it. Your, your uh, helpful tip is just do it. All right. I will try to just do it then, Verity. <laughs> I really, like, the advice that helped was, uh, be level with the spikes before you jump, holding onto your, like, horizontal momentum. Like, that helped because it kind of told me what I needed to do and that I could figure out how to implement that on my own. I don't have the, I don't have the, uh, the grapple necessary to do that. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, 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 it's, uh... Right, it's this. So you can, I can use this to get back up if I need to. Leave the bottom is easier. Alright, well, you know what? We'll go the bottom route, then. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I hiccuped. I hiccuped. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Whoa! No. Going for that Nike sponsorship. <laughs> that, was, that was way bad. You think I need a brown button down instead of a pink turtleneck? Ah, that's why I'm messing this up. I don't know why I did that. Is it no boost like a double jump? I don't want to use my dash because apparently it's a dashless challenge. Can you do it without dashing? I don't even know if dying resets it, so like we have to do the entire thing without dashing, or if we dash and then die, it'll it'll reset. I'm just doing it without dashing if I can. So that's the jump I'm gonna try to make onto the uh, the brown platform underneath. I don't know if that's gonna be good enough though.
dying doesn't reset it. I mean, the, the problem isn't that dying does or doesn't reset it. The problem is I don't want to accidentally dash and then keep going and be like, oh, whoops, well, hopefully it resets, you know. Now I know, Relpica said dying does not reset it. If I die, I'm just going to do a quick restart. Or if I, if I dash, I'm just going to do, do a quick restart because I have to, apparently. That's the information I wanted to know. Not jumping high enough. It does, I tested it. Well, to be safe, if I accidentally dash, I'll just reset. I don't know why I'm messing up the timing so badly now. <laughs> Unbind dash. That's actually a pretty good idea. I just want to make sure I can still do this, because that's what I'm going to try to do to get over the uh, over to the brown platform, and hopefully it's good enough. I'm just going to keep throwing Madeline's at this first spike jump. I've done it like three times. <laughs> I think I've done it three times. I think I stopped moving horizontally. So let's get a little split second to stop, then do the jump, then screw it up. Okay. Play the Liberty Medical Happy Diabetes song. The only person, the only diabetes I know is... What is that fat guy's name who's always on the diabetes commercial? I, I forget. The only thing I remember about diabetes, I've also forgotten about diabetes. Diabetes. You have diabetes. Wilford Brimley, thank you. I'm so bad at names, by the way. You suffer from diabetes, I suffer from diabetes. But I get my insulin, and I get my blood sugar detectors from Liberty Medical. Dot com. Because I'm worth it. Maybe it's diabetes. <laughs> Maybe it's Brimley. Come on. There we go. Now. We've done it. The jump just works if you do it. Oh. 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 Now, <laughs> what the hell do you do about this one? This is easy. This is straightforward. I, you know, I think I understand. So. Hold on. It's not that. I think I have an idea. If I just like do a jump up, I keep dying here. If I just do a jump up into the spikes, I might just be able to like trick the game into thinking that I won't die and like. Allow me to grab onto those spikes at the very bottom and then do a jump from there. That might be enough. I don't know what corner spike boost actually is. I'm just going to try to like. Fiddle with it myself, I suppose. 
<laughs> fiddled on myself. But like, I, I think in the past I've accidentally... I've accidentally grappled onto a wall or onto an area just underneath some spikes. So I'm kind of like, could I do the same thing here? Like, like what's, what's my distance right now? on my jump. You know, if I can just, yeah, it, it might be close enough that if I can just grab right there, at the very bottom of that, that might be enough. You have to just jump right twice. Okay. That's another thing that I could try to do. Like, try to hit jump twice. <laughs> Grab it by the shaft. I know that spikes don't kill you if you're going in the same direction, because I, I watched a little bit of the GADQ when they explained that, but... I also don't really know... ...what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, here's a question. Do I have to do I have to hold grab when I'm doing the the spike jump or do I let go of grab when I jump on the on the spikes up there? That's a question that could that would help me. You always hold grab. It doesn't matter. Okay. I, I like holding grab, because I kind of want to get up here and then stop for a split second. Come on. A little lower. Okay, we'll go a little lower. Because Veridi said so. Da 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 da! At least we've got some banger music to keep us company while we're doing this. Oh! <laughs> I think I did actually um, jump off the second spikes there. Let's go! Easy room. Now these rooms are actually, they seem pretty easy to do without dashing. It feels like that's probably the hard part right there. <laughs> oh god, doesn't matter. You know what? Look at this. Freaking, uh, you can climb a wall without lowering your stamina. I have learned the mastery of skills of Celeste, and then I got confused because I was shown off. Look at that, look at that. I can do this forever. What if you had to do this with also without dying once? Uh, so don't do it basically is what you mean. <laughs> Actually, can I just make that jump? Yeah. No, we have to we have to hit this block down, I think.
I've got to get high enough. Okay, so I've got to find... I've, even if I find a way to lower that block, what do we do? Do we go down? You know what? If we go down... That might be what we want. Mmm, we can't really go under that that easily. Going down might be the wrong idea. Hmm. What if I just like... I don't know, try to jump off of that wall or something. <laughs> oh, keep dying, you'll be able to climb the massive pile of dead Madelines to get to the top. I feel like there's actually a video game that has that as a mechanic. Maybe not Dead Cells, maybe something else. Hmm. I really want to get over here but not die. Like, somehow get underneath that, because if I can get underneath that, then I could just keep jumping up. Grab this fall block from a spike jump. Oh, I just, I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> I don't want to do another weird spike jump. I just want to be done. This is the only way here? Ah, oh, fuck. Why do you guys want to see this? You want to, Why do you want to see me in misery? Also, what the hell do we do after that, though? Ralphica says you can do it without the falling block, and I believe that, because it feels like you should be able to. But, like, what would you do even after that? react fast enough to not but where I, I just don't understand let's say this block falls what do you do after that like how do you how do you get out you know like I can get over here To the crumble block. Hmm. You're redownloading the game to see how many strawberries you got. You never got the no deaths ones. I got one of the no death ones, apparently. No, no, no. I want to do this. This is going to add a lot of deaths to the world one counter, by the way. <laughs> Just pointing that out there. Hmm. World one hardest world. Hmm. <laughs> Making 
the jump to the right is also possible. I don't see where you would make it from. I'll try. I'll try. A little bit more. No, that's not high enough. So it's gotta be the um, run, top, run, jump. But even when it feels like I'm getting it, I'm not getting enough height. Hmm. I just want to, like, find a way to jump from the left side, really. <laughs> hmm. You can link me a video of someone doing it without even making the block fall off. I'd still rather try to find a way to do it on my own. Your guys' tips, of course. Got an idea. What about that? That's pretty close. Not quite high enough, and I don't know if I can even make it any higher. <sighs> That's so close. You know what? I actually have an idea. No, because I'm jumping up. It doesn't, doesn't matter. can make the jump like that. Just kind of grappling onto this and then going, bah! Doesn't seem like it. I need to find a way to gain a little bit more height. It's very close. I have to resist the urge to just toss in one dash. <laughs> what if we go from the lower area? I don't think that's actually gonna have enough height in the lower area. Yeah, almost certainly no. I can't just make the jump. I have to jump off of it. And I can get a little bit of extra distance by jumping straight up and then going over. But it's not enough. Hmm. Maybe if I jump twice? Jumping twice felt like it did give me a little bit more height to it. Let me try that real quick. Jump, jump, jump! No. Maybe if I try going jump twice and then maybe grab the falling block? Nope. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm -mm. Try to not stop while climbing, trigger, trigger the jump while climbing. I mean, that's what I can do. <laughs> I can hold upright and jump. Let's see. What gives me the most distance on a jump? It's pretty good. That goes straight up. That's about the same. Jumping twice. Oh, I, wait, 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 wait. I got an idea. Got an idea. Got an idea. Oh! I want to try to do like 
two jumps. I want to try to do a jump and then jump again. Like, maybe I would need to like reassign another jump button. Let's reassign another jump button. Controller config. Jump is A, Y. No, 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 no. Jump is also going to be B. And talk is also going to be B. Okay, jump is going to be B. <laughs> and, and jump is also going to be X. <laughs> no, 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 no. All buttons... are going to be everything. Start. Select. Uh... Yes. Start. B. I hit B and it resets. It doesn't like it when I unassign the, all the buttons. So we're just going to make jump B. Then we're going to hit... Why did it make A dash? Okay, how about this? Jump is going to be A and B. Dash is going to be Y and X. There you go. Now, why do we do this? Why do we fall down, Mr. Wayne? <laughs> I want to try something. I'm trying this with a... With a controller. Is that, is that hard? Is that super hard mode? I had a pretty good time with the controller, except for uh, the freaking uh, uh, feather levels. Oh, so close! The feather levels have been a freaking pain in the ass. Okay, you guys are now like carefully debating, or Rubblega is trying to carefully debate the use of uh, controller versus keyboard. There's some uh, advantages on controller. The TAS speedrunners have a 6.6% .6 better chance of um, breaking their previous high score whenever they're using a controller, statistically speaking. Oh, you're a nerd! You're a nerd, Ralptica! You are a Celeste nerd! But I don't mind. Because you know what? It's a fun game. I'm a freaking Gungeon nerd. Good God. I played a lot of that game. Ah, uh, I, I don't know if it's possible to do it like this, but it is so close. It's so close! Ugh. Ow. Ow! Has to be a spike jump, I think. Where is the... Where would you make the spike jump from? I, I don't even know like exactly what a spike jump is. Can, can I do it from the right side right here if I'm timed perfectly? Like I, accident, I accidentally did it a couple of times on the pre, on a couple of screens ago. But like, is, am I trying to do, is this a spike jump? You know, this right there, well, I keep dying, but... Boom! No. Boom! Like that, is that a spike jump, but just timed better? That was far too high. I need to jump earlier, I think. Earlier? Need to move further to the right. We've got a Goldilocks this. This is even more Goldilocksy than the summit. Oh! No. Okay, uh, is, is it up or to the right? I will wait for chat to respond to this one. Is it up or right? <laughs> I don't remember what direction it's in. <laughs> Please, help me! Help me. Help me. To the right, up is the berry. Okay. <gasps> we made it. Now.
This is easy. Even easier. I remember this one. Okay. Oh, more freaking weird spike jumps, huh? Okay. Should probably have done like a, uh... Oh god. Should probably have done like a, uh... Wall climb that doesn't take stamina, but... Whatever. You know, whatever gets the job done, this is not gonna get the job done. Hmm, so we have to do like two weird wall jumps up there or something. This one is easy. Okay. Can't get that far. Oh! It's okay. Haha, <laughs> you guys taught me the uh, stamina list wall climb. Just jump between the spikes. Oh, okay, just jump between the spikes. I don't think I can make it in one jump, though. I think I have to do another one of these little spike jump things. That's what it looks like to me. Unless I can, like, get higher or something. Hmm. This will be a tricky one, I think. Not the trickiest one, probably, because, you know, by this point in time, you've gotten through the other ones, but, like... There you go. Okay, 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 okay. Getting close, getting freaking close. Come on, get up there, thank you. And then. Trying to, I'm trying to just land on the spikes down there. I don't know if that's what I need to do. But it's what my mind thinks I need to do. Grab that and just drop down, you're in position for a spike jump. Ah, I see. I think I see what you're trying to go for, Ralphica and Saturn Meteor. Try it. There we go again! There she goes again! There's Madeline, she's jumping up again! Now. We gotta climb this wall. You know what we can probably do? Just go over and just do it the normal way, probably. Huh. Yeah, just do it the normal way. Get up onto this platform. Make another spike jump, probably. I jumped way too high on that one. And that shouldn't be too bad. I keep screwing it up, but I just gotta find the right timing on that. Oh, there we go. Now this one... trying to get uh, enough distance. I have to 
get to the right. We probably need the blocks to fall. What the fuck do you do here? Holy shit! I think I did two spike jumps in a row. We made it fall. Now. Did we need to make it fall? We could keep climbing up. We should probably keep climbing up and then just do all the upper stuff first. So, let's do that. Come on. We could make this fall. We can make this fall. And then we just have to do like one more spike jump right there. That's not too bad. It might not even have to be like a perfect spike jump. We can probably uh, finagle it a little bit. If you go from the middle part of the gray wall, you can drop down for an easy spike jump again. Like, I can get there. The problem is, what do you do after that? You have to do another spike jump. Well... If I do it like this, I can avoid having to do one more spike jump. Well, never mind, we're here. It's like, I accidentally got myself there. <laughs> Although, I guess the spike jump is easy if you, um... No, I need to, I need to... Get my stamina back. I guess the spike jump is easy if you can just fall down directly onto it, where you need to go. You can also go up left to the other room so you reset from the top part when you die. That's a very good idea. That is an extremely good idea, in fact. Hmm, you know what? I need to not let that that block fall, I think. Well, because I don't need to do the spike jump. I can just jump off of the freaking block wall. Like here. And then try to do another spike jump off of those spikes. Oh, so close. So close. And yet so far. You know what I should do? Probably. Grab onto it. That might not be enough though. I might need to do more than just grab onto the side of that. Like I might need to do the spike jump. <laughs> The next room is a nightmare! Oh, fuck. What the hell are we doing this for? You guys are just making me not want to keep going. <laughs> Lie to me. Tell me the next room is puppies and sunshine and rainbows and unicorns. Lie to me. Sweet, sweet lies. This is probably a spike jump. I should grab onto the upper section and then fall down. Oh! What do you do? <laughs> how do you how do you how do you get through this room? Decided to do that. How do we get through this? You better be joking, Bound Hades. 23 frame perfect jumps. <laughs> oh, let's fucking go.
Hmm. You know what? We can... Can't get to that side. If I can, if I can, the first jump, this this is the hardest here, I think. I don't think you can get up there. So it's got to be this way. Like I can I can do this forever. This is not a problem. I don't think there's any way you're making it there. I don't think you're going to be falling all the way. What if we go up? Please. Jump to the other side is doable. From where? From uh, from this moving block or uh, from up here? It's like I'm thinking, if I can get up there, can I get enough distance? Like I'm hitting the top of that, so probably not there. Oops. Oops. Just let the moving block launch yourself. Ah! Oh. So we've got a <laughs> somehow convince this block to move. <laughs> you have to hold right at the precise height so you can grab the bottom of this block while you're while you're doing this, I think. Yeah. Link 5, this is a, uh, theoretically a built-in challenge. Come on. I hate that the controller is just vibrating now, forever. You need stamina? Okay. If we need stamina, we'll go, we'll go back. <laughs> Guys, what do I do? <laughs> I knew it! I knew it!
Jump really late on the last one, alright. Higher. Higher. Okay. Now, now that I now that I've seen now that I've done that, that's pretty easy. I can do that without too much effort. I see. Ralph, you were correct. You have a few frames when you can jump while not being on it. That was the trick. Now don't dash. <laughs> don't dash into it. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's your freaking super strawberries. Let's let's let the cutscene play out. We'll skip it. <laughs> We've done it. Yeah, easy peasy. Ah. Satisfying knuckle crack right there. Well, you can dash into it technically. <laughs> oh my god, look at how many deaths. We added like 400 deaths right there. Good freaking lord. <laughs> 22 of 20. Level one. So apparently there's only one of those. Someone was saying that there is one golden strawberry in every level A, B, and C that you can only get if you do the level without dying. I mean, we can just check Seaside. There it is right there. Um, if you die, it gets reset. And you have to go through the entire level again without dying. And then there's one bonus strawberry, which is only in A1, which is the dashless strawberry. So we've done the dashless strawberry. And technically, if you get every strawberry, it's 200 exactly, and that's why there was that one bonus strawberry in A1, the Dashless. They threw that one in there so that it's specifically 200 out of 200. So, that's all of the strawberries in the game. Are we gonna do all of the golden strawberries? I don't know, probably not. You never know, depends on if people wanna see it. But in any case, that is 1A and the winged berry complete.